Let's hop into our imaginary time machine, set the dial for, oh, let's say about 40 years ago, before the internet was in every house. Before your phone was smart, and before a tweet was anything other than a sound a bird makes. Imagine you needed to look something up for a school report. You couldn't just type a question into a search engine. No, you had to go to the library. You'd walk through the doors, smell that wonderful old paper smell, pull out a card from the card catalog, then you'd hunt down the right volume of an encyclopedia, a big heavy book, and find your answer. It was a real physical adventure for knowledge. Now what if you wanted to talk to your friend who lived across the country? You couldn't send them a quick text message with an emoji. You would have to use a telephone, one that was probably attached to the wall with a long curly cord. You'd dial their number on a rotary phone, making that whirring sound for each digit and hope they were home. If they weren't, you'd just have to try again later. It was a world that moved at the speed of people, not at the speed of light. Planning a trip was another big production. So what changed? How did we go from paper maps, rotary phones, to the world we have today? The answer is a tiny, invisible thing called a bit. A bit is the smallest possible piece of information in the digital world. Think of it like a light switch. It can either be on or off. That's it. In computer language, we represent on with the number one and off with the number zero. These ones and zeros are the building blocks of everything you see on a screen. They are the atoms of the digital universe. It's a very simple idea, but when you put billions of them together, you can do amazing things. Your favorite song on a streaming service, it's just a very, very long sequence of ones and zeros. The photo you just posted online, it's a grid of tiny dots called pixels, and the color of each pixel is described by a specific combination of bits. A video is just a series of these pictures shown very fast, each one made of millions of bits. Even the words you are reading right now have been turned into bits sent through the internet, and then turned back into letters on your screen. Everything, from a simple text message to a complex video game, is constructed from this incredibly simple on or off system. Now, one bit by itself can't do much. It can only say yes or no on or off, but when you group them together their power grows exponentially. A group of 8 bits is called a byte. A byte can represent 256 different combinations of ones and zeros. That's enough to represent letters, uppercase and lowercase number symbols. From there we get kilobytes, megabytes, gigabytes, terabytes. Each one is a thousand times bigger than the last, allowing us to store and process enormous amounts of information from entire libraries of books to high-definition movies, this ability to turn all kinds of information, pictures, sounds, words, numbers, into a universal language of bits is why our world has been so completely rewired. Before, a photograph was a chemical process, music was a groove on a vinyl record, a book was ink on paper, they were all different things made of different stuff. Now, they are all just...